Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Mascara Magic. So today's vlog is all about a brand called Spectrum. For those of you who don't know much about the brand Spectrum, basically they're a beauty brand and they mainly focus on brushes in my opinion and makeup tools. However, they also do makeup as well. So yeah. In the past, I have had one Spectrum makeup brush, literally just the one, which is so sad <laughs> because they're a lovely brand, they really are. They'll always get like gleaming reviews for their brush sets. But I've always found them a little bit pricey, like the price tags are usually quite high and depending on what you can afford, you know, that kind of dictates what you can buy, you know. Anyway, so I was online the other day, literally about two weeks ago, the other day you know what I mean and yeah I ordered myself some brushes now I didn't order loads I literally just ordered the like eyeshadow brush set which is a five piece set and I ordered a mascara because like I say they do makeup as well and I wanted to try out some of their makeup just to see what it was like now I really fancied the look of the eyeshadow palettes but they were nearly 30 pounds each and I couldn't justify it Seriously, I think my husband would have gone bonkers with us if I'd bought any more makeup right now because I've got so much <laughs> and I don't need any more. So I have to kind of, you know, rein myself in, pull the reins and say, hang on a minute, Julie, do you really need another eyeshadow palette? Anyway, so the Spectrum order, here it is. It came in this lovely, pretty pink bubble wrap kind of package and on the other side is my address so I won't be showing you that side. But I'll dive in and show you what I got. Like I say, I only got two things. So the first product was the Spectrum Zodiac Dark Matter Black Mascara. Hopefully you can see that all right. I'm not used to this ring light yet, guys, so just bear with us because I kind of put things right up close to the camera and then you can't see them, they go all white. Anyway, this is the Dark Matter Mascara. Now, I've had conjunctivitis for the last week. <clears throat> so fortunately when I took my little one week time out off YouTube I had conjunctivitis so I probably wouldn't have been uploading videos anyway so anyway seeing as I had conjunctivitis I only managed to try this mascara out once and I was really impressed with the one day that I did use it so that's what it looks like it's just really neat simple packaging and the wand itself is like nice and kind of flexible it's like one of those kind of flexible plastic ones where if you kind of do that it kind of bends like it's flexible my flexible friend mascara <laughs> anyway yeah so I've, anyway I've tried this out once I thought it was okay it didn't flake off it didn't give us panda eyes and it did stay on quite well considering I had conjunctivitis it probably wasn't the best time to try it out so I will kind of you know use that again over the next coming month or two to see what I like, you know, see see what it's like and give it more of a fair review. Now with mascaras, you usually find that once you've opened them, six months and then they tend to start to dry out a little bit and lose their productivity and the formula can go a bit clumpy and a bit nasty or just generally dried out. So yeah, I am, since I've opened it, I'm gonna have to use it. So I'll keep that out and it will go in my little pot for, like my little shop my stash pot, which I don't do on camera. I just literally dive into my makeup bits and pull out bits that I really need to get used up. So this mascara costs $12.99 and I think in my first impressions opinion it's worth every penny. I think it's very averagely fairly priced and I would recommend other people to try it and see what you think. I don't think it's too extortionate price wise, you know. So, speaking of extortionate prices, I thought this was extortionate, but thinking about it, it's not really. So this is an eye brush set for eyeshadows. Now you get five brushes and oh, the packaging, it's just so pretty. I think the theme's supposed to be like mermaid, but they've called it Oceana. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong, but I think it's pronounced Oceana. So yeah, they are mermaid inspired brushes. Now I haven't tried these out because like I say, I've had conjunctivitis, so I haven't been wearing any eyeshadow. 
my conjunctivitis has only literally started to clear up as of yesterday and it's still a little bit in my left eye so I'm trying to be careful no eyeshadow just a little bit of mascara and a flick of eyeliner so I'll show you what the packaging's like it's like a scalloped edge kind of little bag I'll be honest I won't be keeping the brushes in the bag the brushes will be going in my brush pots I've got one pot for like eyeshadows eyebrows and lips one for like sort of face powder foundations contouring and one for like blushes and highlighters so that's how i've got my brushes set out just so i know what's in each pot so i know which one to go to grab so these brushes are so pretty like i wouldn't say that if they weren't pretty but they are proper pretty like i think they're stunning they're like kind of the handles the stems are like iridescent don't know if you can tell but they're like clear it's like a clear acrylic but it's iridescent and the brushes themselves are like a kind of turquoisey color which again ties into the oceana theme like the ocean theme for like mermaids now this brush set cost me 25 pounds and there wasn't any offers on but i did get free postage because i bought the mascara as well um but yeah i got free postage but there was no offers on and like i say this set cost me 25 pounds at first i thought that was quite pricey but then when you think about it that's five pounds per brush that's actually not too bad in the world of like price tags it's really not too bad and i will use each and every one of those brushes these two here are like kind of fluffy crease brushes and like for blending this one here, well, these two here are more for your eyelid kind of colours. And this one here is more for your lower lash line for smoking out kind of darker colours. Or even whatever colour you want on the lower lash line. Because it's quite firm and quite dense. Whereas these ones are actually quite sort of bendy, quite soft. But also quite dense as well. And just really soft. They feel so, so nice. I can definitely tell the difference when you feel a decent quality brush against a brush that's a lot cheaper for instance this brush here i got this set of brushes off i think it was amazon for like very mermaid themed again if you haven't guessed i love mermaid themes yeah um i got this set for like i think it was about 12.99 and i got about 20 brushes and you can just tell the quality of them it's just not as nice you can just you can feel the difference instantly when you feel them these are a lot sort of thicker and just coarse and just not very nice but for some reason I've kept it even though I decluttered my brushes I've kept that one anyway they just feel really nice and really soft and they'll be going straight in my little pot as soon as I have took a picture of them because I'll obviously upload a picture to my Instagram account because that's what I've started to do recently with my purchases <clears throat> so do I recommend them I can't really say that yet because I haven't tried them but I have had one Spectrum brush, brush in the past and I believe it got lost in a house move. But I loved it and I did like the kind of productivity of it. So yeah, I've heard only good things about Spectrum brushes. And a very good friend of mine who's a makeup artist has used Spectrum brushes for years. And she swears by them. So yeah, I'll kind of stick with you know what she says there as well. So hopefully I'm going to love them. That's kind of what I'm trying to say so that's everything that i ordered from spectrum um i wish i could have ordered more but like i say it wasn't really valid to order another eyeshadow palette even though i loved the oceana themed one i've kind of got all the individual colors within other palettes so i really didn't need to buy one um but if i win the lottery tonight because i might put a lottery ticket on then i might treat myself to that palette Otherwise, I think it'll just get left for another time. Maybe if there's any kind of sales on or if I get any discount codes, then I might treat myself at some point in the future. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this quite quick vlog. I've kept it quite short, which is unlike me. I usually waffle away for a lot longer, but there was only two products to actually show you. Um, like I say, the mascara is well worth a try. See what you think. If you, if you yourself have actually, you know, own any Spectrum products, makeup brushes or the actual makeup themselves, let us know your opinions in the comments, what you think of them, what your favourite is, you know, when it comes to the brushes, do you rate them, do you not rate them? And yeah, just, you know, let us know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go now, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and everyone take care.
and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.